add payment how to send bulk emails on HubSpot. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can add uh, some contacts info and send bulk emails or emails in bulk within HubSpot. It is very easy and simple to do. All you have to do is as always follow the video or the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. Right here I have signed in for my account on HubSpot. The first thing that I have to do is to go ahead right here on this uh, drop down menu or the vertical drop down menu we have here CRM. I will click on CRM and here we have another menu which contains contacts. This is um, a crucial step to do. Click on contacts. This is the first step that we are going to do. And here, since it is linked to my uh, Google account, it has my Gmail on it, and it has also the emails that they are not necessary in here because that the, the, they are some no reply emails. This is not very important right now, but the thing that you have to do is you click right here. We have two options, either create a contact manually. When you click here, create a contact, you can put a email, for example, this is just a demonstration, a little disclaimer, guys, everything created in this video, such as email addresses, contacts are created for the sake of the video. They are not used for any personal uses. Now on this one, we have email. I have put an email. You can go ahead and put the first name, for example, Jack, last name Smith, like this. I am going to put Smith. Here, the contact owner, it is uh, like this. Here, I'm going to put it. Job title, you can put ahead a job title, phone number. You can go ahead and use the country code. Then you can put the phone number. Uh, the life cycle stage, you can set a life cycle stage. We have leads, subscribers, here, marketing qualified lead opportunity customer for example this is a customer lead status or like this we have new open in progress open deal let's say that it is a open deal and then we are going to click on create this is for the manual or the fully manual uh, setup of the contact as you can see here we have the information we can go ahead and make emails for it and etc now let's go ahead to the contacts again but this time i am going to add a bulk uh, contacts click on import here we have on i am going to click on import start and import we have synchronization sync data between hubspot and dozens of other application it's up to you if you have a um, digital marketing um, apps or interfaces that have gathered or that has gathered a lot of email addresses but i'm going to click start here from a file here we have import file from computer an opt out list repeat a past import i'm going to click on import file from computer click on next and here we have what kind of data is in your file you have to choose the data that is contained on your file we have here uh, some companies, contacts, deals, products, etc. You have some activities also. I'm going to click on contacts, then click on next. Here it will be demanded to be depositing the file. Here I have this website, which is called emails verified. I will set the number of emails. These are some fake emails. I'm going to put, for example, this 100 email and then I will have this. I'm going to download them as a CSV file and here we have the CSV file. This is just an, a normal or a fake uh, generated email addresses. So I can go ahead and proceed with the video. Click on here. We have here generated emails. Click on open. And as you can see here, we have the generated emails. Here we have how choose how to import contacts, create and update contacts. Create new contacts only, update existing contacts. Since these are some only new contacts, I'm going to click on create new contacts only. Same object, association, create contact, uh, contact here, association with, uh, with this import. And now I'm not going to use this. Select the language of the column header in your file, English, of course. Click on next. And here, as you can see, these are the information. We have import as contact proper properties. 
here we have to choose or create property right here it is up to you now um, I'm going to put for example uh, membership notes like this and contacts can be created regarding property not mapped it is a uh, not use uh, here it is a not mapped uh, found row scan here we have the problem with this csd file i think it has not been correctly mapped but now to resolve this problem which is a common problem with these csv files i'm going to click simply on contacts can't be created right here Properties required to create contacts. I'm going to put emails, for example, map one of email, first name, last name. This is the map that we have to choose or to make on the CSV file, and we will be good to go. Now, what are we going to do is to modify the CSV file because it didn't recognize the emails. All I have to do is go, go ahead to my Excel or XLS file. I'm going to put the file. This is a generated emails 100, as you can see. And now I'm going to put a map for it. Since it has only the emails, here we have 100 email. You have to put the first case and you have to name it emails. Emails like this. Here, we have this. Then I am going right here to export the file as a CSV file also. And we will be good to go. Now, I am going back to the website. I'm going to put this aside, choose the new file that we have. Click on open. Next, here, ready to import. As you can see here, we have 100 rows scanned. I'm going to click on next. Here we have import name, create a list from this import. I agree that I'll contact in this import. Here I'm going to check these boxes and now the summary is going right now or the important is uh, progressing. We have 99 contacts since the 100th word is uh, email. Here we have everything. It is imported as you can see. Now I'm going to put uh, here I'm going right here to contacts and see what we have now. We have all of the context. Now I'm going to send an email for each one of these. I'm going to the side menu, mark marketing, click on it. And here we have emails. I'm going to create an email and send it in bulk for all of these customers or these e emails. Here we have welcome to email. You are going to choose here. We have MailChimp. You can use templates from MailChimp. You can uh, use another provider or I am new to email, it is up to you. Here I'm going simply to click on create email. Here we have automated, blog or regular. For this one, I'm just going to put a regular email. This is our regular email. Now I am going to close this tour, I don't need it. Here we have the templates, we have some basic ones and we have some premium ones. I'm going to use only a basic one Let's go ahead and use this one. For example, this is the simplest one. And now I'm, I'm going to show you the editor and what are we going to do to send you this email on bulk. As you can see, we have a drag, a drag and drop uh, menu or editor. You can go ahead and drag and drop a image. For example, here you can go and put an image or it's, uh, select this text right here put it like that and it is a very easy to do here now for the uh, settings here we have uh, the name from this is my name the uh, email address that i am sending this email from here this is used as a my reply to address we have the subject line you can customize this or personalize it and here the internal email name you can put new email and subscription type marketing information. Now let's go ahead to the send or schedule. Send you here we have all the emails. You can put the file that we have right here. This is a contact list. This is the uh, 99 emails that we have. You can go ahead and click on it or you can click or send or choose the emails that we have added. And then you click simply on uh, preview and send here. 
we have a required field. We have a subject line. When you click on subject line, I'm going to put it right here, test. And here, what we will have company name and address. I'm going to put here the company name and address and going to put this. These are some fake information. When you click on preview, here I'm going to see the preview of the emails. This field is empty. I'm going to preview it as it is. And here we have it. This is the email and the contacts will be uh, choose the contact is uh, preview, uh, for example, as a specific contact is up to you. Uh, you can play this text with uh, text with you. It is up to you. And that was very easy. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you soon on the next one.